2022 Chevrolet Blazer RS review, it was all yellow. Mid-size SUVs aren't usually the sportiest vehicles in the world, almost always opting for practicality over performance. But the 2022 Chevrolet Blazer brings sports car charm and a punchy V6 to the segment in a nod to its muscle car sibling, the Camaro. But how much are you willing to sacrifice in the name of sporty driving? In this case, the Blazer falls short in certain categories that mid-size shoppers might value. Some sought-after active safety features are baked into pricey packages, for example, and the Blazer is neither the cushiest nor the most affordable crossover in the world. The Chevrolet Blazer looks sharp, especially this RS trim. Slim LED running lights stretch horizontally across the corners of the aggressive fascia, with squared headlights positioned lower down in each corner of the bumper. Taking up most of the real estate on the front end, though, is the massive black grille, on this RS model, it wears wider mesh and darken trim pieces. The Blazer's nitro yellow paint job, a new hue for 2022, makes the already aggressive SUV more eye-catching. Love it or hate it, the $395 paint is impossible to ignore, and it looks better with the RS trim standard mandatory black roof, black badges, and darkened accents. The optional 21-inch gloss black wheels help enhance the styling but cost an extra $1,000 over the base shoes. The inside isn't as eye-catching as the exterior. Jet black leather covers the seats and steering wheel, with that same hue extending to the dash, door panels, center console, and elsewhere. But on the RS model, there is one specific feature that stands out, the air conditioning vents, weirdly. The gloss red trim surrounding each vent immediately pops among the otherwise drab cabin, matching subtle red stitching on the seats. The cabin layout emphasizes the Blazer's aggressive appearance with a high belt line and narrow greenhouse, and a center console and door panel inserts that angle inward to create a cockpit-like layout. The drive-oriented seating arrangement is nice, but the high belt line makes the space feel tight. Because this is Chevrolet's sportiest crossover, the Blazer doesn't exactly excel in the comfort department. The ride is harsh and the seats are uncomfortable, the hard leather and lack of bolstering makes it feel like you're sitting on top of the chairs rather than in them. The cabin lets in a ton of outside noise, road, wind, and engine, which makes it difficult to talk to your passengers without having to raise your voice. Because of its swoopy bodywork, the Blazer feels more cramped than alternatives like the Ford Edge and Hyundai Santa FE. The front compartment is tight, with a smallish window that shrinks the greenhouse and chunky elements on either side of the driver that encroach on elbow room. Headroom and legroom in the second row aren't an issue for average-sized adults, but again, the small greenhouse from the even smaller rear window makes the compartment feel more cramped than it is. Cargo space is where the Blazer really suffers. The 30.5 cubic feet behind the second row and the 64.2 cubes with that bench folded flat are the lowest figures in the class. And trying to load anything into that rear hatch requires a significant lift over the high lip. Every Blazer gets a standard 8.0-inch touchscreen display with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. Unfortunately, it's still a wired connection, not even the top-end trims get wireless CarPlay. At least the RS and Premier models add navigation and an adjacent 8.0-inch digital instrument cluster to the mix which makes the setup more appealing. Admittedly, the Blazer's 8.0-inch screen is on the small side compared to what some of the alternatives offer. The Grand Cherokee has a gorgeous 10.1-inch optional display, for example, and the Santi FE comes with a 10.3-inch screen. But the Blazer's display does the job well enough. Chevy's home screen is crisp and easy to pass thanks to its color-coordinated and well-spaced icons. Touch responsiveness isn't smartphone quick, though. Every version of the Blazer gets a Wi-Fi hotspot, satellite radio, and OnStar remote services out of the box, while wireless phone charging is available on RS and above as an option. The RS model is the only Blazer that gets a standard 3.6-liter V6 engine, it's optional on the 3LT and Premier models. With 308 horsepower and 270 pound-feet of torque on tap, the Blazer RS accelerates off the line in a hurry and delivers impressive stamina at higher speeds. The Blazer routes power through a standard 9-speed automatic and sends it to all four wheels here via the all-wheel drive system, which costs a cool $2,900.
Dynamically, though, the Blazer RS is the best handling model thanks to its quicker steering ratio and a twin-clutch differential with lateral torque vectoring that directs power to each wheel as needed. Toss it into a corner and the Blazer RS inspires confidence with limited body roll and flat cornering, while the torquey engine provides plenty of power out of the corner. The steering is weighty and offers ample feedback from the road when cornering, you know exactly what the tires are doing. But when cruising on the highway, there is a vague on-center feel that gives the wheel too much wiggle in your hands. The transmission is the only thing keeping the Blazer RS from a higher score here. The 9-speed automatic doesn't execute shifts as quickly as it should, even in sport mode. It takes fiddling with the gear stick to get this gearbox to respond during performance driving, and even then, downshifting is sluggish. And for whatever reason, even in the sportiest blazer, there are no paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.